And now we return to the case of the haunted Gainsborough. Coyotes and rattlesnakes. That's all we got where I come from. Never heard tell of a ghost. Why does she do this to me, Mr. Holmes? It's not her castle, no. It'd suit me if you'd give me the picture and let me ride out of here, lad. You mean, Mr. Scott, do you mean that you, you still want the painting? Well, I wouldn't want it said I got scared out of a deal by no lady. Even if she wasn't no lady. What do you want for the picture? Eh... Uh... Five thousand pounds. What will you take? One thousand. It's a deal. You're a gentleman, Mr. Scott, a great gentleman. Well, let's go and have our supper. My appetite's returning. It'll be like a feast to me now. Will you be so kind as to follow me, gentlemen? has she done to me? Now listen, McLeish, you must go back to Mr. Scott. Keep him entertained. Keep him out of here as long as you can, but by no means tell him about this. I, I'll do my best. As long as there's food, you'll stay, I think. Heather, Heather, give it back to me. It is my own portrait, and you will not sell it, Malcolm McGregor. Have you no consideration for pity's sake? She's gone. You cannot catch a ghost. You find something, Holmes? Our first material evidence. The tinkling sound. Hmm. It personed to something. Probably a glove. Well, I must say, Holmes, I'm very relieved. Well, I'm not relieved. It's 11.15 already. My painting's gone and soon I'll lose my castle. Now listen. You must say nothing about this to Mr. Scott. If he comes in here, tell him that you're having the painting packed. He must be kept willing to buy until midnight. But that's nothing to buy now. There will be. That Holmes runs like an antelope. I've told you four, take no chances. I'm fed up the same old routine again and again. I did not like your variations. What do you mean? I read my lines straight. I'm a professional actress and talented. Yeah, a distressful man. I know let you down. I'll tell you better of that when I go to collect my castle. Can't see what you want with this tumble down old place. There's more in it than meets the eye. I appreciate you having the picture created for me. If it's ready in time, I might break camp and ride out of here tonight. Mr. Archibald Ross. I take note of the fact that I'm not piped into the castle. Ooh, only welcome guests of the lair are piped into McGregor Castle. Well, if you want my opinion, I didn't like the way you blow the pipes anyway. You would not know good piping from bad. Your mind's too full of mortgages. And if we're passing opinions, Archie, tis mine that you're a disgrace to the whole of your clan. Pack your pipes, McLeish. They're leaving soon. Well? Where's my money, Laird? 
You'll get your money before midnight, Archibald Ross. I've still half an hour left. And where do you hope to find it in that space of time? I've sold the portrait of my ancestress, Heather, to Mr. Scott here. You've sold it? But I see no portrait there to be sold. I've taken it down to be packed. You're lying. I can pay you now, lad. Might save you a little trouble. Besides, I'd like to settle the deal and get out of here before that ghost lady turns up again. I'll be back at midnight, or a wee bit before. Again? And it's got to be the most frightening performance of your life. What, now? No. I want to see it. Give me ten minutes to get down the passage and out the door. I've got to return by the front door again, you know. I'll give you a performance, Ducks. It'll scare even you. That's a fine lass. I can see the news spreading like a prairie fire. All the way to El Paso, most likely. Sam Scott just trudged in from Europe, lugging a genuine Gainsbow. A what? A Gainsbow pitcher. Oh, I see. Mr. Archibald Ross again. Well, McGregor, you're lacking breath, Archibald Ross. You needn't have run. There's still time. I wasn't sure of the time. Oh, I can't see the clock from here, but there is time, I'm telling you. my wish, my word, and my will. His deed will be done at midnight. So I lay my curse upon him to commence at that hour. He will live his days in the misery of loneliness. He will live his nights in the horror of fear. Terror will follow him like a shadow through both day and night. Watson. Is she all right, Watson? Uh, yes, only fainting. Mr. Holmes, is it really you? Yes, Mr. McGregor, would you look after the girl? Dr. Watson and I must go after the fainting. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Good heavens! Through here, Watson. All right. There, you'll be all right now. I suppose you got what you deserved, but I must admit that you got the worst of the scaring business. Come, Lassie, and I'll take you upstairs and find a room where you can rest. Well, Watson, when our first trap failed, there was only one answer. A secret passageway. But I wanted the ghost with it. I say, Holmes, the painting. Ah, oh, good, Watson. Well, what have you got there? Well, it appears to be the flans of McGregor Castle. Ah, yes, of course. This would explain Heather's fantastic exits. This whole place is honeycombed with passageways. And here's something that will interest you, Watson. An entrance to the passageway through the stone floor of the battlements. So that's how she first disappeared on us. Feel much better now. Mm. Well, we must get the portrait back to Mr. Scott and uh, close the sale before midnight. Well, what are you going to do now, Laird? You have five minutes left by your own clock. Sassenach. You couldn't be mistaken. You're quite sure. Well, Mr. McGregor, here's your portrait. Well, you might just as well take it back where you found it. 
The buyer's gone and he won't come back. Thanks to your wild theatricals, Mr. Holmes. Watson, take the picture and hold it up in front of the fireplace. All right. Right, then. That's it. The McGregor fortunes hang with me. Is it a curse? Or is it a clue as to where the treasure is stored? Hmm. Now, let us imagine that she is uh, above the fireplace. Which way is she pointing? Well, I'd say that blank wall over there. Well, you're ignoring the most significant part of the portrait. Note the wedding ring on the right hand, the sash on the left shoulder, the clan badge on the wrong side of the bonnet. In fact, everything in reverse. Well, I've never noticed that before. Well, Gainsborough painted her reflection. Reflect with me and you will plainly see that she is actually pointing over there. But that's actually about that newel post. This treasure I swear to keep until a McGregor has sore need of it. And may this Bible guard it well. Heather McGregor, A.D. 1746. Oh, Heather, I could hug you. Scraps of paper, every one of them. They're pound notes. The real pound notes. Aye, worthless ones issued by Bonnie Prince Charlie before he fled. The McGregor treasure. I'll take the deed to my castle. One moment, Mr. Ross. I've had enough of your tricks. This happens to be an original Wettenberg Bible. Unappreciated in 1746, it is worth approximately 5,000 pounds today. It makes no difference. The castle's mine and the Bible goes with it. And conspiracy to defraud. And also sufficient witnesses. Not alone with your accomplice, and above all, the enormous sums that I personally can sue you for. For the shock to my nervous system because of that dreadful false ghost. What a mind could invent such a diabolical thing. You, sir, are probably liable to spend the rest of your life in prison. Mr. Holmes. You're very welcome, Heather. Thank you for finding the treasure and saving the castle. You're too good an actress for this kind of work, Heather. But I was up to your tricks all along, though. It will be very difficult for a woman to fall a strong and intelligent man like you, Dr. Watson. Good day and good trip. <laughs>